Hi, I'm Mike Nugent. I play uh, football for the New York Jets, and you're watching Press Pass TV. Hey, thanks for joining us at Press Pass TV. I'm Morgan Page. Raheem Brock plays for the Indianapolis Colts, but in the offseason, he heads to Philly, where he currently calls home. Get to know the defensive tackle in between flashes at his Blitz Magazine photo shoot. I might rock this joint tonight, too. As the jungle animal goes through the brush, <laughs> one can see now that Raheem Brock <laughs> can be found. <laughs> I'll turn this way and go like this. That's awesome. It's my, my, my MySpace page right here. Maybe just one looking kind of tough. Tough? A little bit tough, <laughs> yeah. Is there any place that you have with like any of your, uh, like any kind of like football memorabilia or anything like that? Uh, I got most of that in, um, in Indy. Raheem Brock, number 79 from the Indianapolis Colts. I still, I still got love for the, for the Eagles. I grew up in Philly, so I don't, I'm all, I'm all, uh. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, you're fine. Just keep, just keep your hand there. I just want to get, I just want to get like a nice headshot while we're outside. Okay, okay. You know? One of the first persons to move here. They just, these, these condos are new. Um, used to be 24 hours. Y'all see that pool over there. It's the pool with the deck all the way around. So the pool used to be 24 hours until I moved here. Oh. And I was having so many parties and they had to shut it down so it's no longer 24 hours. Oh, so if you move here, they'll tell you that Raheem Brock is the reason why this building is no longer 24 hours. <laughs> Just got done doing a photo, photo shoot for Blitz Magazine. It's a new up, up and coming magazine. Um, Right now, we're headed to North Philly, uh, the heart of North Philly, near Temple Campus, and um, get something to eat and finish, finish doing the, this interview. Yeah, I'm always home, but I usually just chill with the family, do other business stuff that I'm doing, you know, real estate, and I'm about to open up this franchise, uh, Wingstop, um, here on Temple Campus. Breakfast Club. Two o'clock, we're gonna give us some breakfast. That's it. Best breakfast in Philly. That's yes. right. Breakfast club. But right now, uh, I do like, you know, rental properties and, you know, maybe flip houses, just real estate stuff, not too big. Yeah, besides football and all the business stuff that I do, I just, you know, like to relax and play video games. I, you know, I, I take video games as a stress reliever. My dad, um, his name was Zachary Dixon. He played for he, uh, he played for the Eagles, and then he went to the Colts and ended up playing for the, the Seahawks. Um, he played for like seven or eight years. He was he played when I was real young, so I really didn't you know, get the experience experience that much. But I can just say I know a couple of Hall of Fame guys. You know, he gave me a lot of uh, advice growing up playing. And, uh, I, mean, I learned a lot from him, and we went to the same college, and we both got drafted by the Eagles, and then ended up going to the Colts. So it was, it was crazy, you know. I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I always played want like that. I wanted to, like I wanted to be there someday. I'm starting for the Colts my rookie year, um, and we was playing against Pittsburgh and Pittsburgh, and I had, uh, I think they were up a little bit, and I had, uh, yeah, I ran a play, and Jerome Bettis came to block me, and I kind of dove over Jerome Bettis and hit the quarterback. So I think like two plays later, they kind of set me up to where the fullback will come and cut my legs and I try to jump over him again. But when I jumped in the air, Jerome Betts is coming at me like this. And all I see is him coming up. It's crazy, crazy. I try to duck up under him, but he kind of, I mean, he still hit me, but it was, the hardest hit. Yeah. Coach Dungey talks about death by inches and you can watch film and It'd be one play that, you know, if we would have did this and then, you know, it'd be the other way around. Right. That's why we always try to play every play like it's the last play. It's nice. I need another one. Yeah. Hard to get, though. If Nick Harper would have hit the sideline <laughs> and ran up the sideline like he practiced, every practice, I'd have another ring. I'd have another ring. I promise you, there was no way. And your body won't let you play forever. You just gotta enjoy it and go out there and, and have fun and then save your money and go to your, the next part of your, your life. I'd like to thank Press Pass TV for chilling with me today in Philly and um, hanging out for the photo shoot. 
I hope y'all enjoyed it. See what I do all day. Uh, some of the days. We ain't hit the club. I guess y'all ain't coming to the club. Y'all gonna miss that. But I'll see y'all my celebrity weekend, June 7th. Benefiting Brock's kids. Y'all go to RaheemBrock.com. Y'all can check that out. And see you then. Hope you enjoyed that story. And if you want to check out more behind the scenes action, log on to PressPass.tv or YouTube.com slash PressPass. And if you want to check out our live or podcast radio shows, check out PressPassRadio.com. I'm Morgan Page. Bye.